My name is Apostle Helen Dorkino, coming on the waves of Majesty TV to bring um, this powerful, um, exciting topic to us all. I'm sure you're going to learn something with the beautiful and intelligent panelists that are seated here. You are going to learn something new. Guess what? Our topic today is on what we've entitled or titled First abandonment, it is not okay. <laughs> Many you are there and you are wondering how did they come up with this? Men, these things are happening real, real, real in our modern day society. First abandonment is so called harmful practice forbidden by Dutch and international law. It involves the practice of abandoning a victim abroad in another country away from the usual place of residence. It is done often by a parent or even a partner and usually without any mutual consent. The victim is usually left without their passport, money or telephone, so they have no point of contact. The motive of this practice may vary from exercising restraint or control on the victim to preventing them, for example, from imbibing Western culture or getting into bad culture. <coughs> At times, it may be that the parents or custodians of the victim are struggling with how to raise them. So the next thing that occurs to them would be to what? take them out to the unknown and abandon them there. So this program will be considering some of these unrelated issues with the sole aim of increasing awareness, especially with our key uh, community leaders who are here, they are going to throw more light on this very, very topic. It is also in collaboration with EFSAN the Federation of Somalian Association in Netherlands are project partners for almost 15 years. So I use this opportunity this hour to welcome our panelists to this broadcast. So how much are you aware of uh, uh, the phenomenon of forced abandonment and why do you think it is happening? Well, looking at well, on the internet, I researched and I read a little bit extensively about it. I say, according to the personal status, the personal status law, yeah. the abandonment is a parent, one of the parents, even living home, and not be responsible financially or by emotionally connected to the children and the and the wife not mm -hmm. paying anything is also an abandonment. Yes. Or even taking the children out and giving it to another family member in another country because he doesn't respect or <laughs> he wants uh, to have another experience. Yeah. And they don't take good care, send enough <laughs> money, is also another abandonment. Yes. And the law frowns at that. Oh, yes, exactly. Exactly, exactly. Yeah, let's like, like, like what we think about the topic. Yeah, my sister also said, but uh, it's also like uh, not only bringing a child or some person to another country far away is abandonment, but also having the emotionally, uh, emotional um, Discon disconnection, disconnection yes. is very important because that's happening in present of us. It's in the, in the neighborhood, you know. So you have to be uh, careful. Uh, you have to be aware of that. That. It's happening physically, but also emotionally. But the question is, what do you think? Why is it happening? It's happening because, uh, sister said already, because of uh, maybe someone is uh, um, uh, divorced or uh, in a fa in a in a uh, family, like or, or the money is not there to uh, keep everything going on, or maybe the child is giving a big mouth to the the, the, parents, the parents. Okay, and yeah. And the, the parents yeah, yeah. are not used to it because they always say. Yes, in my homeland, it was not happening like that. But this is another country, you know. Mm -hmm. So children are going to school to become uh, 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 aware of uh, what they are doing. And sometimes they will say something back. So uh, that doesn't mean immediately they are not listening to you, you know. But the thing is, in a lot of cultures, yeah. we, now that we have 
migrated to mm. another part of the world. Yeah. And the world has become a very small place. Yeah. So we are mixing cultures. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we, like we that we are now maybe 60, 50 years. Yes. We are in a different world now. Before yeah. they beat us and they say, don't do this. Or the culture say, don't do this. Yeah. And now they say, you and say this. The UN Charter on Children says this. The Dutch law says this. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the Ghanaian law says this. So the computer is also, the internet is also giving a lot of information. Yeah. So our, <laughs> our youth, they are a little bit confused. So in the house, where in my, when I was young, yeah. in my culture in Ghana, yeah. number one, as a young girl, you are always under your mother's care. Yes. You clean, you cook before you even go to school. Yes. But I, the law in Europe will say that is child labor. Hmm. He's misusing your child. In your own house. In your own house. Mm -hmm. And then we say, oh, hello. So when I come and I say, the child should in the morning, maybe make sure that every two days take the garbage out. She tell me, Child, I'm not going to do child labor. I'm going yeah. to school. That is only my right. And I said, no. <laughs> my auntie and your aunties and their children in Ghana, they will not accept that. So you will go to Ghana and see how you wake up in the morning, sweep the house, clean the plates, and make sure before you go to school, 8 o'clock. But actually, those, that type so of treatment those things, yeah, helped us. Yeah, it helped us. Yes, it helped but us to grow. But now the law... And other laws are affecting it. So the child is confused. The woman, the, the parents are restricted. So that's, in, like in the Christian way, we talk about God the Son, God the Holy Spirit, God the Word, this, together, the Trinity. Mm. The Papa, the Mother, the children, mm. they are the fundamental basis of the society. Exactly. So if there is confusion, and we just say no, the father is the head. I am your mom. I'm the moon. I am everything. You, you are not bigger than me. And then the, they said, no, my teacher. That's another factor is affecting the house. Mm -hmm. So the lo loyalty is not there. It's not there. The trust for the family is not there. The obedience that the honor and integrity of the parents is broken. Because the child is thinking, if your mom and dad say something, I will call the police and my teacher will support me. So for me to be in control, you go to Ghana and you sweep the floor. <laughs> I, I just want to uh, make our viewers understand that most of the parents who resorted into bringing their children back in Africa and refused to bring them back, yeah, they're just afraid, they're scared. Scared? They're scared. Yes. Yes. You see, when a parent is scared for but their child... But you raise child, your own here. Yes. Yes. When they are scared for their child, they are scared for the future. Because we, as African parents, we are kind of more um, into the life of our children, more than the way the Western are. Of course, they, are, they, are, they make a lot of impact. Mm -hmm. But we, are, we, we grow up with the belief that our children will grow and then become something better than us and then uh, yes. and then and, uh, and afterward we will now come to them for them to take care of us yes. it's different here yeah it's not the same mentality and that is the what is bringing the fear of africans uh -huh. but there is something also like like sister said the the treatment did help you yes yes, yes. but that was in a several in in, in, in a particular time yeah place mm. and position yes. mm. this is different and just like my brother is saying um, y you know we are afraid that's correct yes. but we are afraid for ourselves yes. and we are afraid of what other people will say yeah. because if you are not controlling your child yes. who are you yes then so you think the society yes. will go against you but you see if i have not been so many years in this country over 20 years yes in this year in this country i've seen children they were born i even named them sometimes in our church yeah in uh, general then yeah. we name those children we 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 we, we give them name. and right now they grow up they are now adults yeah and what we are really scared of 
to see to, to think that um, if they were if they grow up in this society they will not turn up to be good child they will not turn up to be but that is a uh, very responsible man and female yeah it was wrong oh they, I, I see it i witnessed yes, your it. children yes i witnessed those children not even only my own children but i witnessed other people's children that grew up here that exactly what we needed in them to respect their elders to do things normally to keep their home even to get married yeah a lot of them have successfully done that yeah they've, they've done that but you know i'm coming man but you know the fear the original fear in us because of the way just what you said now that what we learn in our parents on our way yeah. helps us a lot of yeah. course it does yes but when they have what they also learn in the system help them a lot okay but we don't know because we happen to be the one that mm. takes care of everything of our children we never allow a third party in africa allowing third party it does not mean that your uncle your auntie and everybody cannot come in but the third party i'm talking about is the government yeah we don't experience the the interaction of the government with our children because but we didn't here, have that we didn't yes have that. but here they do so but because we now see that the interaction of the government with the children are becoming a, li a little bit of more active than we're scared that oh but it is, it is, i'm going to lose this child to the to the system no but but it is it is um uh, wrong to be scared because yes. you have to go and ask the school or the teacher yes. what's going on. Uh, you have to stand uh, for that, yourself. That is where I'm coming. And, and, and because That's I know several children, several parents, mm. which are knocking on my door and they're saying, yes, no, I have bureau yosor because my daughter at school, I have beaten her or I have uh, something like that. And yeah. now the yosor is on knocking on my door. <laughs> so what to do? And you know, if you don't know the system, how it is working here, yeah, yeah. I can imagine that you are going to get confused. That is the valley where I'm coming because yeah. I think that the the government system is more engaged with the children than the parent. Exactly. We it's also okay. need. They're more interested. We, yeah, we also need to be. Um, uh, how do I say it? To be um, uh, kind of uh, uh, supported and lifted. They're more interested. Now you see, the, the, the most of our women are working too many hours, yes. and I don't know why. No, it's to make. Uh, do you speak. understand? They are working too many hours. Mothers are working too much. Yeah. And that is why you see when. Uh, that's the name uh, our lady here was saying that because of too much of this heavy work mm -hmm. that the women have to do maybe the husband has gone and she's working alone now she has to support the family mm -hmm. i heard about so many kind of support 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 that they give to single women yeah. but i don't still know why these single women have to work so hard to support themselves to pay the rent to do this to do that to take care of children yeah, but you don't forget brother that some some uh, this alone standing women they yeah. are also support supporting family in the homeland that that that, that, that is a big problem yeah. and that, that is a, something that uh, no one can really uh, that is a look into it and get the fact of that but you see what I'm really um, uh, uh, that is a concern about is that this very program is coming now mm -hmm. it's supposed to come even more more better or more on the air so that there will be more attention to that it's happening I'm going to tell you this. It's happening. Yeah. You know, yes. I love my children. My children grow up here. Yes. I don't have any problem that is said with and them. I don't have any problem with them. But, but let me let me tell you what happened. Yes. They, my children have a lot of Ghanaian friends. Okay. A lot of Ghanaian friends. And in most of their discussion, they discuss about these parents taking them to Africa and dump them there and then come back alone and the children, their passport is taken, everything is taken. So I went home with my kids. And you brought them back. And when I went home with my kids, I didn't even know what is in their mind, what they are thinking. I let them enjoy everything. They, kept, they were the ones that gave their passport to me themselves, said, Daddy, please keep it for safe. And I kept it. And there was a time they were preparing to go, yeah. and I gave back all the passport to them, and they were like, shock. <laughs> they were like, shock. So, really? so, yeah, I don't know. One of them was saying, you're wrong, you're wrong. Saying to the other one, you're wrong, you're wrong. I don't know what is going on, what is there. <laughs> I think one of them hinted then that I think we, we were wrong giving our passport to our father. Yeah. Because this man may decide that we're not going back. So, but I never, I never, I never get into it. Yeah. I don't ask them. So they all went back to Lagos and fly from Lagos back to Ireland. And on getting to Ireland, they now discuss with me, Daddy, do you know what we were saying that time when we said, say, what is it? We were thinking that when you took our passport, you're not going to give it back to us. us. You're going to ajack us and let you. I said, do you know how expensive it is for me to take but care of you in Nigeria? Come, come I will never do that. Teachers, for everything, parents are the first. Friends, uh, teachers, everything. So you have to give a, 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 a very cozy 
and a humble uh, and reachable uh, situation in your home. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you are working, when you are tired yourself, everything mm -hmm. is happening. Mm -hmm. Sometimes you are just giving them a, a lap and then, I mean, it's possible. A child will never do that. But if a child is like, 14, 15 years or 10 years or getting a little bit aware of everything in yeah. the world yeah. and you are lapping it, they will say, I'm going to tell my teacher because the teacher was telling that it, that it is not allowed. Yeah. But if you have a conf uh, confidential relationship yes. with your child, then I think you don't have to abandon nothing. You know? There are different types of children. Yeah. There are, di di there are very stubborn. Some are very stubborn. Very, very stubborn. Some are stubborn. stubborn. They want to be on the street. Yes. Somebody will say, a, a young girl can just, just at the age of 13, yes. has her own character. Yeah. She said, I'm beautiful. I, 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 I just want to be on the street with can the boys. Can you imagine that? And then he gets, yeah. because yeah, of her happening. beauty, yeah. she gets money from being on the street. Uh, your 13, 14 year, 15 year old girl, tall, beautiful, is doing that. As an African family, you know it's that your children, it's, yeah, yeah. it's, it's a shame. Because in the olden days, even before they marry into your family, they will ask, Are you prostitutes? But sister, Are you liars? When, when Are you thieves? So you cannot come to Netherlands and you tell me that my 13 year old or my 16 year old girl should be on the street, the street corner with the. Uh, because she loves. Because, because she knows but she's this beautiful. Is beautiful. Yes. The government can give her allowance. The boys are giving her gifts. So the government says, I should allow her. No. That's why I'm doing that because of love to go to Ghana. When you go to Ghana, you are going to be in a beautiful house. My aunties and grandma, everybody is there. And if you are there, you know that, oh, this place is. Netherlands is more beautiful, it's cleaner, it's. But then, before, then you, when you come back after two years, you are adult, you are, cool, yes. you are cooler, you, are cool. you have a, a, a success in your life. Mm -hmm. So people don't abandon their children because they hated them. Do you know, do you know, do you know the reason why I said that? Uh, I said 